If you hate herpes, then you'll hate this brand, TTDI. And you may be wondering why did I just say that? But um, they're a influencer famous company that specializes in colored contacts. And if you're an influencer, you've probably received a few of their emails. For me, for the past three or four years, it's been, you know, nonstop. Even if I will block them on my professional and personal accounts, they still email me, they still DM me, constantly asking me to use their contacts, and it drives me up the wall. It's like if I say no to them, they'll not bother me for a while, but after I'd say six or so months, there's another email from them asking me to use their contacts, which is like... I just told you not to bother me ever again, but... Now, unfortunately, I see a lot of influencers promoting them, and I have a lot of issues with that, and I'll explain why in this video. Number one, I want to discuss their, I guess you could say, predatory behavior towards influencers, and why it really bothers me. Now, I've already covered how they DM and email me constantly, even though I've told them multiple times not to email me but I'm not the only one they constantly harass. This is Box Troll Cosplay. In January 2019, she made this post, detailing the harassment she's received from this company. Now, she did initially work with this company, but then she broke off the agreement. They kept on pressuring her to make posts about their contacts, well in advance of the agreed due date. Now, you think that would be the end of it, but it was not, of course. Like herpes, they keep on coming back. For the next year or so, they bombarded her with emails and DMs, asking for more collaborations. Despite telling them, no, I'm not interested, they kept on emailing her and DMing her. This even continued after blocking multiple accounts. But the problem is, when you block one account, they'll contact you under a different account. And this is something I learned personally myself when I tried blocking them. But we're not the only ones talking about this. This is Miles J. As you can see here, she says TTDI spam emailed her asking for collaboration. She eventually responded with her promotion rates for promoting that brand. Their response? They said that they would pay her $1 each time her discount code was used. Kind of nowhere close to her promotion rate cost. From what I've heard from both big and small influencers, TTDI emails a lot of people, just putting the pressure on them to use their contacts. It's become almost a running joke here on Twitter. You know you're actually an influencer when you receive constant TDI emails and emails from Chic NYC. So I'd say after the first year or so of being pestered by this company and it drove me up the wall because I kept on saying no, I can't even wear contacts, but um, I just thought why not just do a little bit of research on this company and that's what I did. And I came across some very shocking allegations. The biggest one is allegations of racism. In 2018, they sent out this email discussing which contacts would suit certain skin tones. What could go wrong here, right? For white girls, they say they can wear any colored contacts. Okay then, so what's the issue? Now we're getting to the brown skin girls recommendation. Here they say they shouldn't wear bright blue contacts because it won't look good on you. But that's not all. Here are the recommendations for, as I quote here, black girls. They say, never go for loud colors like pink or aqua, as they will damage your look. Naturally, a lot of people weren't thrilled to receive this email. That also includes me. Now, I had emailed them back saying that I learned about this information about their company, and they responded very, I guess you could say, very aggressively. They insisted that they were sorry, but of course I got another email from them a little while after that, so... Now, I don't know why, but it seems like racism and overseas contact lens companies are a constant thing. TTTI 
isn't the only brand out there with these problems. In 2019, Unique So posted a photo of a black artist wearing their contacts. In the hashtags, however, they included some very surprising words. There's also this company called Miomi, who personally contacted me a little while ago, asking me if I wanted to collaborate. Now, I just want to delete the email, but I have this spidey sense that I should check out their website. It all appeared pretty normal, until I came across this page right here, advertising half-breed contacts. In case you don't know, half-breed is a racial slur used towards mixed-race people. By the way, did you know I'm half-Asian? And I was called this in middle school? Suffice to say, I was not pleased. Now for issue number two, you should be aware that colored contacts in general are meant to be a medical device. They're not meant to be an aesthetic um, thing to wear. However, companies such as TTDI sell them only for that purpose. Unfortunately, this can present some serious issues whenever you wear them, and here's why. All contacts, even if they're not prescription, need to be fitted to your eye shape. It's not a one-size-fits-all thing. Wish it was, but it's not. Even if your vision is good, you need to see an eye doctor to determine the proper fit for you. And there is no exception for this. Now, according to the FDA, poorly fitted contacts can cause scratches on the cornea, corneal infections such as an ulcer, pink eye, decreased vision, or even blindness. That's not good. There are a lot of cases of people buying these colored contacts from any website, wearing them, and having serious eye problems. TTDI is no exception. For instance, we have this Twitter post by Adeline Morin, alleging that their contacts ruined her eyesight permanently. IRL Pixie also says that their contacts ripped off her cornea. By the way, that is painful. <laughs> The original video was posted on TikTok, but it's no longer there, I think. But the video is now viewable on an Instagram story highlight via Taffy Tears Instagram. Here's what she said. My cornea got ripped off. I had to wear an eye patch for like four days. Ooh. Eye patch for four days and then I got moved to this bad boy, but I don't wear it as much as I should. <laughs> so basically the cornea is the protective layer of your eye. I don't have that. <laughs> it's super painful and you look stupid and you can't shower because soap could get in your eye and mess up your eye worse. I can't curse because it's TikTok. Oops. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. They tried to compensate me with free contacts. More contacts. That is really horrible. Now let's rewind back to an earlier story in this highlight. As you can see here, these are supposed to be the same contact lenses, but they're not. What's going on here? I don't know. A follower of mine also emailed me with the same allegations. After receiving a pair of lenses that had some problems with it, TTDI offered to send a new pair. However, the new pair was nothing like the original. Very perplexing. There's also this video posted on Twitter, showing a very weird artifact in the lens. What is this? I have no idea. Now TTDI maintains that their contacts are safe. They even say on their About Me page that their contacts are FDA approved. The FDA, on the other hand, sort of disagrees with this, um, statement. They also say in this statement that these lenses were not FDA cleared and pose a threat to health. So we have a clear contradiction here. While they do say on their About Me page that their contacts are FDA approved, we have an actual statement from the FDA saying otherwise. Now a big problem I see is that these influencers will still promote this brand and they haven't really done their research about this brand, which unfortunately can lead to serious problems with the people who blindly follow them and think that anything they use is safe for them, when in fact that's not the case.
The reality is you shouldn't just buy things just because your favorite influencer is using it too. But many of us do anyways. Now you should know that this is a type of advertising called celebrity endorsement. And this uses a person's social status, such as being a big influencer, to promote a product. Most people these days are aware of the pitfalls of celebrity endorsements, so they don't really fall for them. But influencers, on the other hand, are seen as more trustworthy, and so consumers are more likely to buy whatever they promote. For brands, the advantage of using this strategy is not only more trustworthiness, but also saving money. Celebrity endorsements can cost millions of dollars, but when you use influencers, especially small influencers, most of them will accept free products in exchange for a promotional post on their Instagram or YouTube. This allows them to spend much less money to promote their products. I think unfortunately a lot of influencers will see that they're being offered free products and just accept it without doing their research or really thinking about the implications that they could cause to certain people who see these things that they're advertising and not do their own research or think that just because they use it that it will be safe for them. But that's not always the case, especially for contacts, so do keep that in mind. Anyways, that is it for now. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you later. Bye.